buddy. Looks like someone on your arse, huh? Hello everyone, welcome to the next entry to the Month of the Fools, Star Trek Shattered Universe for the PlayStation 2. Of course, emulated because I don't actually have a PS2, but you figured that out by now, probably. I've heard that this game is not so good, so that's why it's here. Alert, condition red. Shields up. The memory card for PlayStation 2, okay, blah blah blah, okay. Fun stuff, right? Huh. Captain's Log, Stardate 9585.9. USS Excelsior, proceeding at maximum warp on intercept course with Starship's Enterprise and Ranger at Sector 7A, answering their Priority 1 distress call. Oh my! Another shattered crystal, sir. We're nearly there. Secure from warp on my command. Prepare to run at full impulse. While aiding the USS Ranger, Commander Chekhov and the Enterprise have become caught in the throat of the Janus Vortex, a subspace whirlpool that somehow exists in both Federation and Tholian space simultaneously. We are on a rescue mission to save them. Neat. Storm front directly ahead, sir. All hands, prepare for impact. Sir, a weak signal from the eye of the storm. On screen. Stand down, Excelsior. Imminent warp core breach. Do not attempt rescue mission. Too dangerous. Chekhov, prepare to transport your people. We're almost there. Oh, this does not end well for you. Shields, Captain, the last crystal. Interesting. Let's get some lights on in here. Captain, on screen. Welcome to the eye of the storm, old comrade. I regret to inform you that your conspiracy to betray the Empire has been compromised. Captain, the Enterprise has locked phasers on the Ranger. Why? If only you had taken me into your confidence, Solo, we could have ruled together. Instead, you will die here, at your traitor's rendezvous where none can see. Traitor's Requiem. What other fate can there be for a starship that has declared naked rebellion against the Empire? Requiem, ah, uh, la la. Sorry, I had to. I'm not sorry. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Excelsior. Its ongoing mission to explore strange new worlds to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where none have gone before. I get the feeling I'm going to have to remove this music in post. Fun stuff, right? Huh, actually get options, huh? Nah. It's fine as it is. Now then. Play. It's time to play the game. Stardate unknown. While carrying out a rescue mission within the Janus Vortex, my entire crew has somehow been transposed. 
We find ourselves aboard a changed Excelsior in an unfamiliar universe. If what I think has happened has, then I'm afraid we can expect our stay here to be treacherous. Commander Chekhov, I order you to stand down. You and your ship are outmatched. You may have your stolen Tolian shields, Captain, but I think you'll find that your phaser banks have been sabotaged. Confirmed, sir. And death can come in a thousand cuts. Is it not better this way, Sulu? My men against yours, ship to ship, eye to eye. Captain, I'm reading several small vessels heading for us. They do not appear to be shuttles, sir. My god, fighters. Red alert, battle stations. Photon torpedoes. They still have those, don't they? What's your status? Captain, sir, things out here have changed. Mister, I don't care if the shuttles have become pumpkins and pilots are white mice. Launch everything you've got immediately. Defend the Excelsior. That's an order. Oh, that's a great image, isn't it? Shattered universe. Attention. We are under attack. We must use whatever weapons are at our disposal to defend the Excelsior. Aye, aye, Captain. I know you are unfamiliar with these new fighters, but you're going to have to learn on the job. Your orders are to damage the Enterprise sufficiently to make her break off this attack. Indeed. At the same time, you must defend the Excelsior from enemy fighters. These ships may look familiar, but remember, they are trying to destroy us. Indeed. Good luck. Sulu out. You got it. And now I am once again thanking all that is good and holy for save states. Huh. You get to select your ship. Nope, you only get one. That's great. It's the illusion of free choice, Eddie. Complete mission in four minutes, huh? Good luck with that. That's probably not gonna happen. You are ordered to make the Enterprise break off this attack now. Okay. I'm shooting at our own shields. That's probably not good. Oh, yeah, they've got full weapons. What do I expect? I should probably try to take evasive maneuvers at some point. Ah, what do you know? Mission failed. Because I died. Break off this attack now. Oh, great, I'm hitting my own shields. It's great. Too bad it can't allow for certain weapon frequencies through, but then again, they'd probably capitalize on that, wouldn't they? Help. Hey, you freaks. Just some of this, huh? Excelsior Neat. shields now down to 75%. Oh, great. Am I doing that? Am I accidentally causing that? Ah, damn it. Damn it all, how do I avoid its attack? It just doesn't seem feasible. While also attacking at the same time. Damn. It's ridiculous. I have to get around it. Somehow. And then I have to cut through its shielding. Or at least attempt to. Excelsior shields now down to 50%. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing here. Damn. Yeah, I didn't figure I'd stand a chance. Surprise, break off this attack now. I have to attack it with full force. And not get any closer. That's what I should probably do. Stay as far away from it as possible. That way it won't target me specifically. It'll go after the Excelsior. And then we just have to make sure that we attack faster. Our sh its shields are down. Excellent. I have a chance now. A small chance, but a chance. Damn it! I don't have enough. T I don't have a lot of time to attack here. 
Ah, crap, and shield is back on. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Well, this sucks. This la that laser is devastating. Very unfortunate. Damn. This sucks. This laser is nearly impossible to get away from. Damn it, no matter what way I turn, that laser is... Okay, it's, it's possible to avoid it. Even though the damn thing is now firing several times. In rapid succession. I need to take evasive action somehow. Probably easier said than done, right? Well, at least it's focused on me. I guess as long as it's focused on me, it's not focused on the Excelsior, right? Excelsior shield, now down to 75%. Yeah, surprise me. Ah, hell, it's not, it's not the main ship that's attacking me right then. I don't even know what to do here. Okay, the right analog stick isn't even doing anything, so why am I using... Ah, hell. Ah, crap, you need another button to boost it. Ah, man, it's one of the other shoulder buttons. That's... that's unfortunate. I wasn't aware of that. It's kind of an awkward position here. Excelsior Shield, now down to 75%. Yeah, doesn't surprise me. Straight to hell, you stupid ships. What are its shields looking like? Doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. How do I get its shields down? I must be doing damage to them. You know, wearing them out. Huh. Its shields are down. Celsius shields, now down to 50%. Damn it. Its shields were down temporarily. Excelsior Shield down to 25%. Lovely. Did we win? Ah, yes. Uh, objective complete. Good. Excellent. Well, let's the get the Enterprise hell out of here. Deployed an antimatter warhead. Oh, lovely. Now how do I stop it? Sensors indicate the warhead is heavily shielded and cannot be destroyed. Great. So, how do we get rid of it? You must destroy all of the remaining enemy fighters in three minutes. Oh, great. That's gonna be fun. Oh. Target them. Good. I don't know if that actually helps with my weapons or not, but, you know... I can at least uh, try, make an attempt. Sorry, I didn't... Shoes and yeah, I see that, thank you. Damn it. I'm trying to hit these guys, but they're not making it easy. Shields are not looking good. <laughs> Two minutes to detonate. Lovely. This is difficult. It's not the worst game ever. The problem is just difficult. Oh, is that one of my guys? Okay. This is one of the enemies, right? Red means bad. Gotta, gotta realize that. There we go. Damage really? That we can't get underway while those fighters are still attacking us. Yeah, I, I see that. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me, because I never would have realized that. Am I the only one in this fight? Is the Excelsior itself not going to defend itself? Oh, great. Speaking of defending itself, I'm not even able to defend the Excelsior. Damn. 
This sucks. Sensors indicate the warhead is heavily shielded and cannot be destroyed. Where are their guys? Okay, there they are. There their guys are. You must destroy all of the remaining enemy fighters in three minutes. Thank you for the objective. Never would have realized that. Okay, what I need to do is use the lasers because they're instantaneous. I just need to get them in my lock. And not lock on to any of the good guys. Any of our fighters. Just use laser bursts. Which I'm pretty sure is fa phaser bursts. Damn, this sucks though. Okay, the, the, those are the those, those are the ones I need to target. Thank you for telling me that. I never would have known that had you not said anything. So I really appreciate it. Get lasered, you mother fricker. They're shielded still. Two minutes to detonate. That, that was one of my guys. Jeez, please, this is hard to aim. Maybe that's the problem with this game. It makes everything hard to aim. It's not exactly easy to tell the difference between their ships and mine. Are they doing this deliberately? Just to make it hard to tell? Well, I think I was one of them down, at least. Damage control reports that we can't get underway while those fighters are still attacking us. Yeah, I see that, thank you. Try to repair your shields. And I'm gonna try to take care of these guys. Damn it. The laser isn't working. There we go, thank you. Okay, where 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 are the where are the enemy fighters at? Oh, there's one. One minute to detonate. Lovely. Yeah, we're screwed, aren't we? Uh, this is this, this is a Star Trek Discovery. This is, I think it's based on Enterprise or something. So there is still hope, maybe. Mission accomplished. Okay, good. We did it. We did it, everybody. We did it, guys. Everything is probably going to be okay. Maybe. Yeah, maybe not. Captain's log. Estimated star date: nine five eight six point one. Commander Chekhov's attempt to destroy us has instead resulted in the destruction of the Janus Vortex, and with it, perhaps, our only hope of getting back home. What's this, Voyager? In our universe, this single ion storm existed both here, where it was known as Janus Prime, and deep in Tholian space, where it was known as Janus Ultima. Since its properties seem to have been responsible for our crossover, we have no choice now but to set course for the Tholian Ascent. Unfortunately, that journey will take us directly through the most densely populated region of the Quadrant. In this mirror universe, where good and evil are reflections of the world we knew, we cannot be certain of what awaits us, but we must be prepared for anything. So Romulans are actually good guys here? Maybe the Borg is the good guys? Man, that would just be weird if Borgs were the great defenders of the universe. Engineering has decrypted the authorization codes on a more powerful fighter. I'm therefore authorizing you to test pilot this new Spectre class fighter. Thank you. That might help a little bit. Captain's log, Stardate 9587.5. Our journey has begun. Stranded in what I can only describe as a parallel universe, our best chance of returning home now seems to lie on the other side of the quadrant at Janus Ultima. Apart from the physical changes in our ship and our cells, it is clear that in this universe the Federation as we know it simply does not exist. Therefore, our first objective must be to cross through Terran space as quickly as possible. Using the new fighters discovered in the shuttle bay, our pilots will scout the way ahead. Hopefully, we will not draw any unwanted attention. <laughs> Good luck with that. Fire and ice. Directly in our path lies the Vasilakis Nebula. Our sensors are useless, but we do know that the nebula contains many ice asteroids. They would provide excellent cover for anything trying to hide in there. Remember, 
Outwardly, the Excelsior appears to be part of a brutal and repressive empire. Damaged as we are, we may present a very tempting target to its enemies. Your orders are to fly a scouting mission, providing us with reconnaissance on whatever might be out there. Follow your radar and target indicators to reach the navigational targets on your recon circuit. Your navigational target will update each time you arrive at one of your pre-programmed destinations. Good luck, Sulu out. Hey, hey, Captain. Hey, hey, hey. This is cool. May as well. Okay, phase on bolt, phase on torpedo. Let's see. It, it isn't as fast, but it does have more pull strength and shield strength. So, yeah, it'll bounce out, probably. Complete mission in 12 minutes. Well, it's... <laughs> I'm probably not going to finish the mission before this video is over, which is about 9 minutes, so yeah. Follow I was your radar using... to navigation point one. Okay. Just speed it up, huh? Did I just bounce into an asteroid that wasn't even anywhere near the ship? Yeah, it looks like it. That was weird. What the hell? Oh, is that just where the Excelsior is? My bad. Approaching the destination right now. Once you crack code from that asteroid, the valuable resources inside will automatically be recovered by your fighter. Awesome. Raw Following materials radar collected. To navigation point two. Okay. Thanks for telling me. New objective. We've got hostiles, I'm guessing. We are detecting fighters in your area. I guess we can't hail them to, you know, let them know that we need no harm, so I guess we have to fight, right? They're gonna think that we're part of an evil and oppressive empire. Let's prove them wrong by destroying them on sight. Because, you know, that's what a good and benevolent federation does, right? Nothing evil or nefarious here. Where are the other fighters? Ah, where's the... Where's that fighter at? Ah, hell. Damn it, where is it? Where are you? You know, I backed off initially, but... This time you're the aggressor. Even though I just destroyed your comrade. I'm gonna pretend I'm in the right here. Because if I didn't, how could I ever s survive? How could I ever cope? With the thought of knowing that I may have destroyed innocent people. Hey, who am I kidding? This they weren't that innocent. Indeed. Follow your radar to navigation point three. Follow your nose. To the raw materials that show. Evidently, I accidentally clicked off of navigation. I probably shouldn't be doing that. Come on, Good destroy work. it already. Thank you. you. Can use those raw materials. Indeed. More fighters, huh? Sensors More people who beat us additional fires. Yeah, I see him. Don't worry about him, I can take care of him. Or they'll take care of me. One of us will take care of the other one. You don't have to worry about that. I'm guessing these lasers are weak. That's the comp. That's the uh, trade off. And of course, these Phazon missiles that are. Photon torpedoes that are very powerful, I would assume. Are the least accurate. You really have to have good aim for that. Mostly for large static targets that aren't going to evade 
That's a good shoot. It's like rock, paper, scissors here. And I can do that. Don't worry about me. Sorry, but you are the aggressor here, so I'm afraid we're gonna have to take you down. No hard feelings, right? Nothing personal. Damn it. More hostiles in the area, Captain. I'll take this the wrong way. We really can't be nice guys once you get to know us. Well, we like to think we are. Navigation point four. Okay. Thanks, Captain. Never would have known that had you not told me. I clearly have to have you wipe my arse for me. But how but little I know. Come on, speed up. Speed boost, baby. Speed boost. Just a little bit further, and then the materials will be mined. With a bomb. Good job. Those minerals are just what we need. Yes, sir. Yet more fighters are detected in your location. The fighters wish to know We're your location. Fighters in your area. Thank you. I never would have known that. Especially the fact that the camera focuses right in on them. Thank you, Sulu. For saving something that definitely wasn't obvious. What would we ever do without you? Nicely done. Well, obviously there was more than one, but I can at least pretend I've done it. Ah, hell. Too bad I can't do a barrel roll, huh? Too bad this isn't Star Fox 64. Do a barrel roll. Oh, my. We must do a barrel roll. Make it so. Follow your radar to navigation point five. Yes, sir. How many navigational points are there at this damn mission? Enough. Get the, get the reticle just right. Oh, it was—it's tougher than I would have expected. That Good was work. a direct hit. We can use those raw materials. Indeed. More fighters. They just never stop, do they? We've got another wave of fighters coming in. Thank you, sir. May I have some more? Thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> I've decided that you have so long to live. I don't care about being even pretending to be a nice guy. This guy's going down. Downtown, baby. Nicely done. Hey, they're the aggressors here. Why should I feel bad about killing them? Take this laser burst, for instance. Hey, buddy. You like someone on your arse, huh? You love doing it to me. What about I do it to you for a change, huh? Good job. Now I'll deal with the remaining Klingons. There are Klingons? I thought Klingons and the Federation were allies. Even if good is evil and evil is good, you would think that the evil Klingons would be aligned with the evil Galactic Federation. So why would they see us as an enemy? That makes no sense. Unless alignment is also off. Unless because they're both evil, they're both selfish and out of and for themselves. Or is this the old days when the Klingons and the Galactic Federation were enemies? Hard to say. Because apparently they were enemies at one point. Hey buddy! You are entering a powerful gravitational field. Exercise caution. Oh, I see. My bad. Ah, hell. I can't get... Can't Follow afford. your radar to navigation point six. Okay. Thanks for instructing me. I gotta get away from that gravitational field or whatever. And 
towards that asteroid. If I can actually shoot toward the dam. There we go, that should be direct hits. Excellent, but it didn't it didn't destroy it. Good there job. You go. Those minerals are just what we need. Huh. Objective complete, huh? Is it over? Good because work, that's Scott. definitely within we 12 minutes. Excelsior. Oh great. Lovely. Attention. Excelsior is under attack from Klingon forces. Great. Unfortunately, I'm all out of time, so I'm going to have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like Klingons, apparently. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.